Hello, everybody. Welcome to this month's KTN training webcast. It is an honor to present to everyone today. I'm so glad we have such a fantastic turnout for a Monday, even more so. And what really makes me happy are, well, a lot of things about our attendance list today. First of all, all of the regulars coming back again and again and again. Laura Ruby, your team at the the Rosewood Hotels. In fact, before I do that, though, let me first uh, say I want to thank you to our audience and also especially to our sponsors, Track, a travel net solution. All of these three companies have been our sponsors since we started this in early 2023. It's our second year. Track, a, a, a travel net solution. Travel Outlook, premier call center, the only call center currently certified by Kennedy Training Network and Better Talent. Steve. Trover and team. I'll be seeing you all at the, in fact, I'll see track two at the upcoming VRMA conference in New Orleans. So as you know, if you're one of our regulars, we always do a few shout outs. I love to sit here prior to the start of our webcast and go through the attendance list with Julia Kennedy, our marketing and social media coordinator. And I just had a chance to do that. And that really gets me thinking how wonderful it is to be here. You know, I'm sitting here in my office looking at a small webcam, <laughs> but by looking at the attendee list around the world, it really helps me understand and, and who is out there. So I always like to start out for a few shout outs as we're waiting for people to log in. Again, so many regulars, Laura Ruby, Rosewood Suites, uh, sorry, Rosewood Hotels and Resorts, you and your team have been there all along. A lot of our clients, even though use us for on-site training, keep on turning out. I can't believe we have so many. Nizuk, I'll be seeing you. We're working out dates to come to visit you in May or June. Nizuk Resort, Cancun. Fabulous place. If you're looking to see the world, one of the world's most beautiful resorts, check it out. And we have the sales team with us today. Elevation, Alicia, a couple more of you from Elevation out in Colorado, also a, a former KTN client. Jennifer Reed, McNeil Hotels, if I recall correctly, you're in Boise. I hope I didn't get your hotel incorrectly. Uh, I think Idaho Falls is actually correct. But thank you for joining us. It's been almost two years since I spoke at your conference. Um, Viceroy um, uh, Las Cabos. Also, speaking of Mexico, Luis and your team at Conrad Punta de Mita, more clients. And then a lot of people I have not visited for a while to done training for. Luz from El Convento, Puerto Rico. I love your historic hotel right there in Old Town, Puerto Rico. Please tell Peter Hopgood to have me back for some more sales training now that he's CEO. Karima, Karima, Radisson Edmonton. It's been a long time since I did a private webcast for your sales team. We'd love to do that again, or maybe even come visit you now that it's getting to be summer. That's much better for someone here from Miami. Trace Evans Hotels, I've not done training for your company for a few years, but I just spoke there at a conference at the, the Catamaran in San Diego. Uh, Alex Village Properties up in Sun River, I'm actually coming through Sun River at the end of March to train Sun River Resort on sales and hospitality. We have Fountain Blue, Miami Beach in the house, well, not really in the house, on the webcast. Lily, Carla, Alexis, it's an honor to have you attend the webcast. I would love to do some on-site training for you. Um, you're practically neighbors. We're actually in Davie, Florida. And then our international crew, in fact, starting with a GM. In fact, we have two GMs, uh, Juno, Staybridge Suites in New York State. Thank you. Irina, Holiday Inn Suites in London. I love seeing GMs show up for sales training. Um, on with our international clients, the Hotel Angazo, um, which is, oh, I didn't write down where that was. Uh, Naja from El Car, Croatia, once again, Hotel Alcar. We have uh, Antonio Ritz Carlton, Mexico. Sylvia, the Ex Exara Palace in Malta. I keep on saying how much I would love to visit your island nation. Anu from Budapest, RD Hotels once again turning out. And then finally, Eric from the Hermitage. <laughs> I'm surprised you're here after a busy weekend with the Southeastern Conference Basketball Championship Tournament. And then, of course, we have several people from LBA Properties once again. So a lot of interest from you. 
So now that we've done our shout outs and given people a chance to join us here today live, some of you may be watching on the recording, but let's get down to it. As you know, if you're one of our regulars, we rotate the topics every single month between hotel sales, which is our topic today, hotel sales, group, event sales. Then we go over next month, we'll be going over to a hospitality topic, how to resolve complaints and stop the full refund scammers. And then we move back to reservations for the following month. But today's topic is very specific to hotel sales. Now, I know a lot of you have signed up from the vacation rental business, which of course the vacation rental property managers you do sometimes get groups, but more often than not, it's individuals. However, some of the same concepts may apply. The, con the terminology may be different, but the tactics and the sales process may be the same. So Saltwater Vacay, Sun Realty, you once again have a whole lot of people signed up, even though you have Calvin Stovall from our KTN Network Partner presenting there today in Outer Banks. So um, I hope it's relevant for everyone, even though today is a little more specific to groups, conferences, events, such as weddings, bar mitzvahs, quinceaneras. So why should we encourage site tours? These take a lot of time. We have all of those lovely photos online. Many of you have virtual tours where they can click on and take their own little walkthrough and see all those pretty little pictures. So why should we do that? Well, some of the people in hotel sales today do not really push them. They wait for someone to request them. There may be a little bit of mentality out there that all this techie stuff does our job for us. But I'm pretty sure that's not the mentality of the salespeople who have showed up here today, okay? Because ambitious salespeople like you, who take out time on a Monday, to attend Doug Kennedy's webcast or carve out time to watch it later. You are the ones who are smart and you go up out of the path of everyone else and actually encourage them. So I will share with you one of my Doug Kennedy mantras that I often say in my sales conferences and sales training. If you want to get the same business that everyone else gets, do the same things that everyone else does. Respond promptly to the RFP attach that little pretty little pdf that they send everybody or maybe an e-proposal link Ooh, and then you know maybe um you know send them that generic stuff that says thank you for your inquiry we'd be excited to host your big wedding day or your group's important meeting the following is the same thing i send everybody else so to outsell the competition we have to go a little bit old school but old school with a new touch because today we're going to talk about using tech for touch now the title here is offering virtual uh, offering the site tours whether in person or virtually so i'm going to start by talking about virtual site tours i know many of you are dealing with international markets some of you are selling in remote locations mackinac island leslie chin another regular I know your sales team is selling a resort that's closed from I think October through April, so you can't do a site tour some of the year. But what we can do is encourage virtual tours. Now, some of this may be a repeat for you if you've been with us for all of these, but what we wanna do is organize a slide deck um, or a pitch deck, some people call it, a presentation template, but be sure to customize it for each prospect, each person you're gonna to present to virtually. And then the nice thing is you want to send that as a follow-up in PDF format to the decision makers. Now, those of you in the vacation rental business, maybe you're in owner acquisition, meaning you're trying to get the owners of those beautiful beach homes or mountain ski chalets or lakefront homes that are some of them, for those of you who are not familiar with vacation rental, it's like a mini bed and breakfast. You have five, seven, sometimes far more bedrooms. You want the owner to list with your property management firm so you can rent it out. So you can use these same skills as well. Now, copy and paste images into a PowerPoint deck. Now, you could use a lot of tools out there. There's a lot of tech companies that contacted me when they saw me promoting this webcast, and many of them have very good resources where they have an app you can put on a tablet or a smartphone, and you can actually display it that way. But 
you know, again, I, I believe speaking to all the audiences today, sometimes we don't need all that fancy tech or maybe you can't get funding for it. So take a simple PowerPoint presentation, copy and paste those photos, one tip, compress them. If you're gonna start using those professional photos that were shot by a professional photographer that she came out to your property, they're probably gonna be 20 megabytes per slot per image. So be sure to compress them because if not, and you save them as a PDF, that file will be so large that it, no one will receive it in their email. Okay. Also, if you're going to share a deck and you have not compressed the slides, the screen may move very slowly and it could cause your computer to fail. So this is a typical one. In fact, this is one from McNeil Hotels. Jennifer, it's not your hotel, but it's your lovely hotel in Nashville. I believe it's Courtyard Marriott, Nashville. So start with the outside of the building, bring them into the lobby, the guest rooms, the public areas, and then finally, I'm sorry, bring them into the lobby, the public areas, the facilities and amenities, the meeting space, then the guest rooms last, just as you would probably do in a real site tour, okay? So here's a little outline if you want to take a screenshot I'll stand to the side for just a moment, but remember a couple of things, candid photos. You know, people love to see real candid shots. Um, in fact, I will tell a story about international hospitality enterprises since we have the Hotel El Convento here today. Lovely San Juan properties. One of the ones I love is the La Cancha, which is a Renaissance Marriott. I was doing sales training there. We were talking about sending candid photos at the break, and this was in the winter. It was in February, I believe it was 2018. And one of the participants walked by, looked out at the beach with the rolling waves crashing at the beach, took a photo, sent it to a meeting planner, okay, who was in uh, Chicago, Detroit, somewhere like that, very cold. And the person replied back, that they were so impressed with this little personal touch that they went ahead and notified all of their contacts at Marriott Corporate Sales, okay, so about what a great job this person did. So I remember what an impact that had, the simple act of taking a candid photo. Pictures of your team. We're gonna talk in a few minutes for the on-site version of Site Tours. Include your team, Inc uh, share those faces, include heart of the house tours, okay? So this would be a typical outline finishing with your last screen share which is a proposal agreement or contract okay now a few webcam presentation techniques jennifer reed i know you went through this with us because we do our one-on-one -on -one how to sell to remote buyers that mcneil did right after COVID had started so remember most people when they do an on-site an online virtual tour the first thing most salespeople do is they fire up Zoom, Teams, WebEx, if you still use that, GoToMeeting, and the first thing they do is share their screen. So what we recommend is start full screen so you can actually have a conversation. Once you start sharing your screen, you're gonna become a little call-out bubble in the corner, okay? And they won't actually be able to see you unless they have a really large monitor, okay? So keep it engaging. Another thing we learn when we do Re, uh, webcam sales coaching, which we do. We ask people to create a, first we talk about using the tools and the best habits for presenting through live virtual meetings. And we talk about things like video email, which we'll cover today. Then we have them come back for a role play and we have a separate KTN person that the salesperson actually sells. Now we originally, and then we have your KTN sales coach in the background observing. We originally did this to focus on coaching people and presentation techniques. What we found when we ran a lot of participants through this is we ended up coaching them on the actual sales skills, okay? What happened is a lot of people get talking so much, they start feature flooding, feature dumping. Some people call this horrible things, feature puking, feature spewing, but remember, pause solicit feedback how does that sound so far so always remember to ask the investigative questions we've covered those in other other webcasts that are available on our youtube channel which i'll be referencing at the end 
Also, a storytelling selling approach. I'm gonna cover a little bit on these right now for you um, in just a few minutes. But first, we're gonna talk about making it easy for your person that's going to take the virtual um, site tour with you, making it easy to schedule. Again, we've covered this in other classes, but this is really important here. Whether you're gonna schedule the virtual class or the on-site site tour, you want to make it easy to schedule. I'm sure we've had this. If you have a property like Fountain Blue or a lot of our other destination resorts here, you have a lot of people that are very happy to come for a site tour. Now, also because it's a large event. Those of you who are joining me today from cities like Las Vegas, we have clients out in, well, Evans Hotels out in San Diego, a huge group and event space. A lot of people will come for a site tour. So you can use Calendly to schedule those, all right? So we like Calendly. If you're using HubSpot, you may have a different app, and there's a few competitors of Calendly, but we personally use Calendly. Also, it's free. Um, why is it important? You wanna to talk to people. You wanna be able to reach through that digital screen of a flat email message and actually make a human connection. You cannot do this through just emailing back and forth now to set an actual time either to have someone meet you for a virtual tour or in person for a site tour it can get really frustrating sometimes when you have that back and forth and back and forth to pick a date oh hi doug i'd love to come and actually do the site tour oh okay what's a good time for you how about the third week in april oh i'm gonna be gone that week what about the last week in april Okay, I can do Tuesday or Thursday. Oh, I can't do Tuesday or Thursday, but I can do Wednesday or Friday. How about Wednesday, two o'clock? Oh, I just got booked. You know what I'm talking about? So with Calendly, you immediately can control when you're available. Now for my advanced Calendly users, you can also set a specific times for a specific contact. You can make a customized Calendly link for someone, let's say, bride-to-be and mom, okay, or bride-to-be and um, dad, okay, or maybe both, they're going to take a two-hour meeting, whereas somebody else for a side tour might only want to be um, a Smurf meeting, might be 30 minutes, okay? So you can set different times with different availabilities. You don't have to make your whole calendar open, okay? So Check out Calendly if you're not in the game with online scheduling apps. I highly recommend it to get people to have a meeting with you online instead of just talking on the phone or instead of just emailing back and forth, okay? So this is what my homepage looks like. I have a 30 minute or a 60 minute meeting. If I do have to schedule longer events, I make one of those customized links, which I mentioned, okay? They click on that, they see your calendar, you can see I didn't have a lot of office days here in March when I did the screen capture of 2023, pretty much the same this year. Click on the blue ones, that takes you to the available time slots, and then they click in there and put their information, okay? Now let's go out and finish out our time together by talking about the ones who actually will stop by, well, really the ones who will even meet with you virtually, those are going to be the, the people who are booking the highest revenue deals. They're the most likely to be willing to stop by for an in-person tour. And the hottest prospects of all are the ones that are willing to actually come and visit you. Okay. Now, remember, when someone's going to get on a plane and fly to your destination and do a site tour or drive to your destination and do a site tour, you're probably not the only property they're visiting. Okay. So we want to make sure that we're ready to outsell and outperform um, the competition, out wow them. Is that a thing? It is now. So how are we going to stand out when they stop by? This is the main theme of our training webcast today. First of all, a few tips. Prepare your front office staff to greet the prospect by name on arrival before it is spoken. Okay. Now. You can send that email. Oh, well, I notified the guest services manager that Doug Kennedy is coming by to look at space for his regional training class. And you send that email a week ago or even yesterday, okay? Now, hopefully you have good communication. Hopefully that person puts a reminder in their um, 
calendar system, whether it's Outlook, Reminder, or something, and hopefully that gets down to the word at the front desk, okay? But what I hope you will do is what my superstar salesperson did for me in the early 1980s when I started working in hotels. I still remember well Teresa Wiedergott. I don't know if you're still out there doing hotel sales. Probably if so, you're the big boss somewhere, maybe a CEO. Teresa Wiedergott always came to the front desk and she would say, hey, Douglas Crew, I was the front desk shift manager. We have... Mr. So-and-so or Ms. So-and-so coming by today, will you please look out for them, okay? And that really helped me understand the importance when someone comes. Because what happens at most hotels, they come and ask for, let's say, Teresa Wiedergott, the sales manager. And this is really sad, but it happens even at large, especially at large hotels. Hi, I'm here to see Teresa Wiedergott. Is she a guest? No, she's your sales manager. Oh, hold on, right? Now, hopefully that's not the case, but at very large hotels, make sure you cultivate those relationships with your front desk crew, okay? Teresa always did that. If it was a really busy day, she'd stop by and say, hey, anybody need me to bring you, go and um, get you a soda, how's everybody doing today? Thank you for being here, okay? But today, we have something that Teresa Wiedergott did not have. We have social media, so you can go on to the social media of the person you're meeting with, chances are pretty good you can find them on LinkedIn or possibly on Facebook through their association group or event, or maybe just ask for a photo for this purpose and you can actually show the picture to your front desk staff, okay? Now, a welcome sign with a name and logo. Now, some people have, you know, the reader board, I don't know if anyone still has reader boards anymore. Uh, some people, it's usually digital, of course, but probably the prospect is not gonna notice that, but they will notice a pop-up sign somewhere near the front desk or in the lobby. Again, I know this may not always work if you're a very large uh, hotel participating today and you know it may not be possible and you have several site tours coming in, but if you're a courtyard, a Hampton Inn, uh, Staybridge Suites, let me go back to my list here. A lot of you today can uh, accommodate a, a welcome sign. Put that person's um, logo or um, company logo or association logo, all right? Now, when you're gonna do your tour, do not just walk them through space and rooms because when it comes down to it, what makes the difference from your hotel and the run across the street, down the road, the next town over? It's probably not the amenities. It's probably not the lobby. It's probably not the fitness center. Now, and maybe, I mean, we have some fantastic properties here today, but luxury hotels are very similar to other luxury hotels. Upscale hotels are similar to other upscale hotels when it comes to amenities services. Okay, now, Nizo, you may have the most beautiful lobby ever. Uh, sorry to all my other friends and clients in Mexico, but Really, when it comes down to it, there's a lot of beautiful lobbies, okay? So what we wanna do is make sure we realize what truly makes us stand out. It's the people, okay? So if possible, get your general manager. This is my general manager. She always likes to say hello to our key clients. Hello, how are you today? Or operations manager, the guest services, front office manager, the people they'll actually be working with. Large hotels, okay? you have the convention services, conference services person that will actually be detailing their wedding, their event, their group, okay? Now, beyond that, I love salespeople who work in the frontline staff. This is Juan, he's our bell captain. He's been here seven years, say hello, Juan. This is Amy, she's in our at your service, our guest communications department. This is, you know, all the different people. The barista. This is Samantha at our coffee bar. Hi, Samantha. People love to meet the frontline people that are gonna be servicing their invitees, their attendees, their group participants, okay? Now also behind the scenes, especially if you're at a large hotel. I don't call this back of the house, ladies and gentlemen, I call this part of the house, okay? This is Amy from maintenance. She is our engineer. If anything goes wrong, we hope it won't, but you'll have Amy taking care of you. 
These are our housekeeping team. At really large hotels, people even love to see sometimes a walkthrough on the laundry. Now, by the way, this of course <laughs> assumes your heart of the house is clean, clutter-free, okay, which it should be, because that's where that sense of efficiency starts. Okay. We take people behind the scenes, it takes to be brave enough to know that it's gonna look good back there. Okay. And if you're one of those hotels, which I suspect you are, if you're here in my webcast, we tend to get the best hotels turning out that are the most interested in improving. So take them back there, let them see um, a quick pass through in the heart of the house areas. Also, um, and we touched on this earlier, but make sure we don't list quantitative features. Salespeople do this a lot. I remember, I'm not gonna mention the client, we work with a mid-sized brand and we were having them, um, we were actually doing the reservation sales training. And while we were there for a full day class, we had a salesperson take the reservations team through the hotels on a site tour as if they were a group of either travel agents or potential BT, business travel clients that were stopping by to see about using these hotels for their regular local corporate attendees, okay? So we thought this would be a great idea because the salespeople would be terrific at explaining this. They'd actually used another training company and they were very well trained and you know the leadership was very confident. We trained about 15 hotels for that brand. When we did the walkthroughs, almost all of them were feature dumping. You know, maybe you might think it's impressive that you can memorize the square footage or square meters of every single room. This room over here is 1,200 square meters and it seats up to 25 classroom or 35, uh, uh, 50 classroom or 25 U-shape. And this is our 472 square foot guest room. This particular hotel love to say, let me see if it get the numbers right, a five fixture bathroom. Oh, and we have a five fixture bathroom. The reservations people, you know, we're hearing the same thing that actual planners, buyers would hear when they came by. A lot of them were like, question, what's a five fixture bathroom? Okay, and that had the separate uh, shower, bathtub, the uh, toilet, the bidet, and then double, va double vanity sinks, that's six. I forget what the seven. I guess it was six fixture bathtub. But people are not gonna be impressed by all the facts you can remember, okay? What they will relate to is a story. People love to hear stories. That's what they're gonna remember. So as you're taking your walkthroughs, especially in person, tell the stories of other groups you've had. Tell the stories of situations that arose, particularly those that created unique needs or unique problems or quandaries that came up. Maybe there was a blackout. Maybe the bride's dress got hung on the sprinkler. Oh, I hope that never happened at your hotel. Where was I? I was just at a hotel and I noticed they put a hook. I think it was, uh, we were on vacation for a couple of days in Hawaii recently. And I noticed a hook very high on the wall. My wife, Kathy Cook was saying, what is that? I said, that is for the bridal gown. Because some people hang it on the sprinkler head, ooh, and it pulls it out. So if that ever happened, you know, tell the story about um, a shipment that didn't come in and what your people had to do to run out to Office Depot or to make a last minute run for someone, okay? People love stories and the frontline story heroes. A couple more things I like to cover, and if you've been with me for our reservation training and our other group conference event sales, you know I'm really big on this the just for you conversational style to make it sound like it is just for you, okay? So most salespeople list facts and they talk in quantitative features. We have, we have, we have, we offer, we have, we have, we have, we offer. This sounds very generic. Like I said, you're not going to out amenity the competition. You're not going to out tech the competition. Pretty much all the cool stuff you have the competition either has or they're going to be getting it very soon. So we want to out people them, tell stories of the people, tell stories of their people, meeting your people. Okay. So your group will enjoy, your wedding attendees will receive, 
your guests can take advantage of. Okay. Instead of we have, we have, we offer, you will receive, you can take advantage of. Okay. This is how they talk in advertising and marketing. So I always encourage people to take a listen to ads on radio, TV, newspapers, um, digital newspapers, because nobody really gets a newspaper anymore. Um, magazines, probably digital magazines. People still read magazines more than newspapers. I don't know when the last time I saw a newspaper on an airplane was but they always speak to you, okay? Um, so, and, and, and that grabs the attention of the multitasker, all right? Now, next, another repeater from our other hotel sales, group sales, wedding sales, and reservation sales for luxury and upscale. Up your game at those visually and emotionally descriptive language when you walk them through, okay? So make sure that as we're walking them through, we use more than those comfort words, beautiful, nice, great, beautiful, nice, great. This room really presents beautifully. It's just great for groups like yours. It has 3,000 square feet and it looks really nice, okay? So make sure that we use words that help them imagine what it is you're describing. I know some of you have been with me in every single webcast, so I feel bad repeating, but many of you are brand new to my webcast today, so I am going to use the example of what a server does at a high-end restaurant. When you say, what is this dish like? They launch into that culinary language. Oh, chef takes a five ounce, thinly sliced slab of premium wagyu beef, and it is drizzled with a hint of hickory and some fresh ground oregano, and then it is flash fired to 360 degrees and served up just for you. Yeah. I don't know what that guy just said, but I'll take it. Culinary language is something culinary people work at. We want to work at that as well. So how are you describing your product? Okay. Now, if you're a, you know, a Staybridge Street Suites, who else do we have here? We have, oh, Prestige Hotels, Canada. Hello to all of you you know, you have a more uh, standardized brand product, but you still can talk about convenience, how they're gonna feel, you're gonna be home-like, you're gonna be welcoming. It doesn't just have to be visual. If you're not in the luxury segment, you're not in the upscale or boutique segment, um, you're in an upper mid-scale or a mid-scale segments, you can still talk about convenience. It's gonna be efficient. You're gonna be feeling home-like. We're gonna take great care of your attendees or your local corporate business travelers, okay? So what they're gonna see, what they're gonna feel. And I know I already talked about this, but here we go on the slide again, tell those actual stories about how the hotel staff went above and beyond for previous guests, ideally group or event attendees, um, when you, they've done those extraordinary things when people got in a situation or a conjuring. People love storytelling, okay? Now, a few more things I wanna cover express heartfelt interest and desire to host them. Now, I know this person has a headset on. I tried to find a picture on Shutterstock, Dreamstime, to express this from a hotel salesperson without the headset, because I don't think you're gonna do a site tour with the headset, but I love the gesture here. And I will tell you how I end every sales call. When I'm not presenting sales training, or hospitality training, what I'm doing in this office, in fact, later today, I will be selling training, okay? And I already had one before this webcast, and I've got another one coming up later today because tomorrow I'm back on a plane going to the Outer Banks in North Carolina. What I do when I'm selling is the same things I ask you to do. And at the end of my presentation, I stop sharing my screen, okay? Now, people don't come to our office. You're welcome to come and visit us in Davie, Florida, especially Fountain Blue. But if you were here, I would do it in person. Um, so usually it's through a Zoom, or if I'm out visiting a client or a prospective client, I do it in person. The last thing I do is I either look at the camera or to finish the meeting in person, I say, well, before, before I go on my way, I just wanted to let you know, we would be honored to have you as our latest KTN client. Let us know what is it we can do to secure the chance to work with you. So look in that camera or look in their eye as you walk them towards the front door. Pause for just a moment. Give that dramatic pause. 
there's just one more thing I'd like to tell you, Douglas, before I send you on your way. We would love to host your wedding, your group. We would love to host your local corporate travelers. Let us know what my team and I can do to win your business. People want to give business to people that want their business. Okay. If everything else is the same, the amenities, the services, the tech, and by the way, the price, because their revenue manager has the same data that your revenue manager has. They're getting CoStar, they're getting Hotelligence, they're getting, uh, uh, sorry, 360 uh, view, hotel view. They're getting the same data. They probably are using possibly the same revenue management pricing automation. Price is gonna be pretty simpler. What makes the difference is the people parts, starting with you, the salesperson, okay? Now, create that sense of urgency. Offer to block that space tentatively. You know, I'll tell you what I can do. I can go ahead and block the space if you're able to do that, okay? Some of you are at very busy hotels. Um, I was just this week at Majestic Resort in Cancun. They're sold out almost every, you know, they're they're booked up year round. I don't know, I think that they're running very high occupancy. I don't want to disclose private information. So you really can't hold that until they're ready to sign. But create that sense of urgency. If possible, say we're gonna go ahead and block this for you tentatively for a few days, okay? and then follow up now when you follow up send those personalized follow-up messages at minimum a personalized email do not use a template for this oh don't get me started on generic personalized drip campaigns these i, I cannot tell you how many solicitations i get from hotels that want they think yeah, i'm in the business of public venue seminars because occasionally we do them often i speak at some at conferences so they put me on the list as if I'm a planner, which I'm really not. Uh, in most cases, the hotel sets up the venue or the association. For example, I'm speaking in South Padre Island, the, the CVB in May. They're in charge, not me, okay? But they send me those drip campaigns. Dear Douglas, as a meeting planner, blah, 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 okay? Do something specific about something you connected with them in. Ideally, their dog, okay? We had Star Park, Park Hospitality. Star was, we uh, talked about video email, which I'm gonna cover in a second. She found out that her planner um, loved her dog. I'll, I'll come back and talk to her in a minute. But that their kid also plays volleyball or soccer, or they have a new baby just like you or they have a kid going off to college just like you, or their first grandbaby, or something, okay, that they love, oh, University of Kentucky basketball, and it's March Madness, okay, and also a personalized email, also though, personalized handwritten notes, a good old-fashioned pen to ink paper can mean so much in actual handwriting. Go against the grain right now. Everybody else is selling you hotel sales tech to automate every step in the sales process. Thank you for your visit. It was wonderful to have you stop by. We would love to host, insert name of group, okay? Um, that's not gonna do anything. And then finally, I wanna talk briefly about personalized video emails. You know we love this. If you've been a regular with me, you can use any of the following um, programs I'm gonna share with you in just a moment. But let me first show you what it looks like. It actually looks like this. This was a sales pitch I did for Hazleton Hotel Toronto. Um, can I brag on them? The only hotel on TripAdvisor's top 25 hotels in North America um, for 2023. The only one, the Jamaica Rose Hall, um, I believe it was the Rose Hall, Rose Hill was also there. Okay, that's North America, but the Caribbean. And um, they wanted a sample, so I sent this. Now, I stand before my TV. You can do that if you have a TV in your nearby boardroom or just stand in your lobby, maybe a sign with their name on it, something short. Thank you again for stopping by, okay? You can use BombBomb, Vidyard, CoVideo. Vidyard has a permanently free version. You can have up to 10 videos at a time. Um, this is the one that Parks Hospitality used. So Star 
when she met with her planner and they found out that the planner loved dogs that night when she went home she sent a short video message saying it was lovely meeting you today and by the way um this i forget the dog's name but she actually sat with her large dog and took a picture um and sent this video and it was very well received so vidyard is free you can have up to 10 videos when you get past 10 you have to delete the oldest one we love bomb bomb is a program that we use if you want referral links we can send you the referral links on these um and so we are ending on time today um i hope you've enjoyed a few closing remarks i hope you've enjoyed our best habits for hotel sales site tours and that you want to encourage them to come by and not just wait for them to ask that if you can't get them to stop by at least do it virtually use calendly to make it easy to schedule um, if you're going to do it virtually make sure you really pay attention to the best habits that we talked about when they do stop by ask questions stop and pause do not feature dump do not try to impress them with your knowledge and your memory of hotel trivia okay instead use the storytelling approach at the end invite them and let them know you love to have their business and then follow up in a personalized way speaking of thank yous and follow-ups track a travel net solution thank you for being with us since the beginning if you're looking for property management or reservations call crm or digital marketing support they have the atlas division website email support Travel Outlook Premium Call Center. I see a lot of you today signed up because the Travel Outlook and Track referral emails that they sent out to let you know about this. Better Talent, Steve Trover. If you're looking for assistance to recruit the best talent, Better Talent has a wonderful system where they actually send you little um, cards that give a lot of details on the applicants. Okay. So I highly recommend them. Please join us next month and for successfully fielding legitimate complaints and how to stop those full refund scammers okay um and starting with when they call starting with when they book and all the way through then we're going to go back to reservations it's not our job to help them tell them what's available it is our job to help them decide we'll be rotating back through all of the topics if you're interested visit our youtube channel kennedy training network you will find uh, i think about 15 now that julia kennedy our social media coordinator has uploaded from previous webcasts these are really good for lunch and learns to watch some of the content and so we've come to the end but please remember we do our on-site training i would love to talk to you about coming to your hotel or your hotel conference uh, or your vacation rental company to do actual live training private live webcam training that we offer, conference presentations, and then of course, mystery shopping, telephone mystery shopping, email mystery shops, scoring of real calls, and private webcam coaching. So I hope you've enjoyed your time with me today. Please join us again. Remember, you have to sign up for each webcast individually, and we hope you do so and join us whether live or through the replay. Thank you again, everyone. Happy Monday and have a great week.